Yo, I think Lee is live. What is good, fam? I am super hot, so you'll probably see me sweating. The AC is not, in, well, I said it's not on in here. Uh, I didn't want to turn it on because, you know, if we hear any noises or anything. So, man, I'm going to wait for a few of you guys to get in here, and then I'm going to tell you all about the crazy updates to this place. It's absolutely insane. Um, it's really cool. But this is the upstairs. I'll show this to you right now. And guess what? We are going to be able to go live in the basement. I checked the internet with their Wi-Fi and it actually works. But this is like a updoor, uh, up upstairs suite. So it has like a full kitchen, which is really dope. Now, when I was here with Yasko and his friend Ben, Yasko slept in that room, which is supposedly the most haunted room. I slept on the couch and Ben, and we didn't really get that much sleep, but Ben slept in here. And apparently they say that this doll right here is haunted. I don't know. But we can find out. Now, what's crazy about this place, guys, I haven't, I haven't put my video out that I filmed here. I did do a live stream here like two weeks ago. Some of you guys may remember. But Yasko put out his video. It was like an hour and 40 minutes long. Caught some incredible stuff on camera. They do like Ouija board stuff and seances and all kinds of stuff here. Um, the the owner, she uh, Mimi, she helps um, spirits pass on and loved ones pass on. I don't know um, a lot about that. Maybe we can ask her. Um, but I'm going to take you around this place. We're going to go into the most haunted area, which is the basement. We're also going to go into the attic, which is really cool. So I'm excited. Never ever have I been able to live stream in a basement before. Now here's the crazy story, okay? We filmed here like two weeks ago. We spent the night. That next morning, like literally, not the next morning, but the full next day, because we left at like, let's say nine o'clock in the morning. The next afternoon, Mimi messaged us and told, her, told us that Airbnb took the listing down. They delisted her in this place. And the story of why will shock you, okay? Basically, there was a nurse staying here. It was a, a male gentleman. And he had planned to stay here for, I think, like two weeks or longer. And he was here uh, sleeping. And he said in the middle of the night, somebody opened the door. This door right over here, I'll show you. Opened the door and came into his room. Now, Mimi and her husband, who lived downstairs, were sleeping. But this guy was completely convinced, and he would not spend another night. Well, he ended up complaining to Airbnb, stating that somebody, the owners, probably came into his room, not realizing that, you know, he's not into the whole ghost thing and everything. Maybe he's in denial. But I've seen before where doors have opened. You can see shadow figures. There was a shadow figure scene when I was here last time. So it's definitely possible. Um, my boy Lou Rock is here along with his wife Lucid, Mimi, and her husband. And also, I think it's Ben who works at the SK Pierce Mansion, which is a really crazy, cool, haunted mansion. Um, let me see really quick. Like, this is the master room. Let me see if I can figure out how. To... No, there's no way I can make the screen size different. No. Bummer. I appreciate all you guys being here. Yo, thank you for being a member for 53 months. Kelsey, you're... Kelsey, I love you. You're the best. All right, so we're going to go... Whoa. That's... I don't know if you guys just heard that, but that was upstairs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's nobody in the attic. Wait, hold on a second. I don't think anybody's in the attic. I'm going to find out in a second. Um, that just came from upstairs. What's crazy about it is while we were sleeping, I was so tired. I didn't even want to get up. I was just done with the haunting stuff for the night. It was like five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. But Yasko and well, all of us heard tons of walking upstairs, tons of walking. He gets up and this is all we were filming ourselves sleeping. So there was no cuts or anything. He comes up, goes up there. There's nobody there. Like if you've seen in his video, it's crazy. My video is coming out. But I just heard something up there. Hey, hey, uh, Mimi or or Lou, 
or anybody. Is there, is there anybody in the attic right now? Holy crap, Ola. Okay. Hold on. Let's go up in the attic because that literally was like a boom, 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 boom. Hold on. Let me, uh, I got to make my tripod smaller. Like literally there's nobody in there. I hope that you guys heard that. Let me know in the comments if you did. That was a hundred percent somebody walking up there. Hey, what's up, Michael? Hey, Chris. Hey, Nicole. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Hey, if you guys did not check out my video that I uploaded yesterday of my boy Omar Gosh TV, where we went to a haunted jail, make sure you guys check it out. By the way, I got a bone to pick. There were so many people in the comment section that kept saying what we caught in the video yesterday, or in the video I uploaded yesterday. Where, like, I seen it with my own eyes in front of me. Omar saw it. It went right in front of us. I slowed it down. I zoomed in. People are saying it was a bat. It was not a bat. This thing, like, okay, maybe I could not say it was because, like, my vision is bad, whatever. But Omar even said it was transparent. You could see through it. It wasn't a bat. Plus, we were in there looking for it forever. And we couldn't come across it. We couldn't find it. We would have found it if it was in there. So... I don't know who said it was a bat, unless y'all were talking about something else being a bat. I don't know what you guys think about that, but dude, there definitely was 100% a noise in here. Oh, there was a tap right behind me. If there's any spirits in here, I'd love to know. What kind of bothers me about this is all the Ouija board stuff, and they say that there's a portal here. I am not into portals and Ouija board stuff and conjuring up bad spirits. Oh, rest in peace, Skipper. Hmm. Mimi will tell us a little bit more about this. Some of you guys, hey, in the comment section, how many of you guys saw Yasko's hour and 40 minute video from here? Let me know if any of you guys saw that um, video. <laughs> Literally nothing up here. That could be a bat up here. <laughs> could you imagine? Hey, Annette Ward, good to see you. Love you. Hey, Steph. Oh, so check this out, guys. Tomorrow, my boy, I am so freaking proud of him. My boy, Omar Gosh TV, is dropping and premiering episode one of the new series, guys. I've never seen anybody ever work so hard to put out a series. Took them over a year, tons of planning, probably $100,000, 16 YouTubers, 16 locations, filmed on like ever before, all alone challenges with these different YouTubers. And they're not all just like paranormal YouTubers. And what's crazy is, oh, what the hell? Heard a bird, but 16 YouTubers, 16 locations. Some, and I'm not going to give anything away, but some people had to tap out. Not everybody made it through the night. Um, you're gonna, and you're gonna be very surprised by some of the people that didn't make it through the night. That's how tense, like, they went to the most craziest locations. A lot of these people have never filmed a lone video before, so. Make sure you check it out. And tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, make sure you share it on social media. Uh, leave comments. Support your boy because he worked. Like a lot of you guys, like he's getting a lot of comments from people like, Omar, where you been? You haven't been uploading anything. Like you really like, you know, not been doing much at all. But they don't realize he's worked harder than ever before. You guys just haven't seen it. All right, I'm going to go back downstairs. It's kind of hot up here. But really excited for that. But anyhow, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another live stream for Savage Sunday. And then, well, 90% sure I am. 
I'll be doing a live stream for Savage Sunday. And then right after that, I have a bonus video for you guys. Both me and Lou yesterday. Oh, my God, guys. This is probably the dumbest thing we ever did. But we went to a tunnel. You know tunnels, these water drainage tunnels? Something always happens. It's crazy. But anyhow, I experienced and saw something I've never seen before. They have this tunnel. It's on the river. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Right on the uh, Connecticut River. And there's multiple tunnels. But what I didn't realize is when we got in there is this huge metal door. And it's on these kind of like roller things. So I don't know if it's timed or if somebody does it, but it can close at any time. So we go in there and I was honestly dead scared that like we would go in there and it would close on us because we'd have no internet service and we'd be trapped in there. And God forbid it started raining, we'd be dead. And uh, what's up? Hi. I see a light. Is that Mimi? Yeah. Hey, Mimi. Guys, that's Mimi right there. Yeah, yo, I'm so excited, and I'm so um sorry that your Airbnb, this beautiful, gorgeous, Aww. amazing, historic place, got taken off Airbnb just two weeks ago. That's crazy. I was just telling them how that how that happened. You know how, you know, some people can't take spirits. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what happened was. On the other side of this door mm -hmm. is where this travel nurse slept every night. And these flip-flops right here are always in front of my attic door because we don't go in the attic mm -hmm. with bare feet. And we don't walk through the house with shoes because we don't bring energy mm -hmm. from outside inside to the house because I the like spirits that. are very... You know they're protective of the home mm -hmm. so that travel nurse kept taking my flip-flops and putting them outside the front really door. yeah what and then he kept <laughs> taking the plaque on the front of the house and turning it upside down and putting it on the porch <laughs> and then the mat he would flip upside down and i'm like what the that's so weird like, what are yeah you doing? yeah but he slept on the other side of this door and he would text me and bang on my door every day. Oh my gosh, he's like a troublemaker. You? Oh no, he, he was like ridiculous. And like, why are you coming into my space and in my room? And I'm like, well, but the interesting thing is. Yeah, he legit thought like somebody yeah. was coming. And I can understand because you know what? Since I've been here, I like when we were just in that room, we heard somebody walking up here. And then I was just up here, like, you can hear people walking, you could yeah. hear talking, and, like, doors opening is definitely possible. So he probably did think somebody was coming in there, but... Wait, and the murmur came up because me and Eric just set up... This is Lucid, uh, right Lou Rock's wife, by the way. Used to be fiancé or girlfriend, but no. So we're in the bedroom, and we're talking about it, I'm talking about the kids, and just hear a woman say, hello. So I'm thinking one of these doors is supposed to directly up to the attic. Well, I don't but think we heard it... it what is... What is going, what is this other, is this a closet or something? Yeah, this is a closet, mm. closet that goes to the bedroom mm, and then goes to the door. And the other thing, Hi, puppy. we did hear He's somebody so cute. walk outside. Oh, cute. sorry. Blind you. Because he clearly wasn't. Tonight? Happy. Yeah. But here's the thing. And that doll. Oh, oh yeah. yeah the, the doll, yeah. What were you saying about doll, that? The doll is, was outside. As we come in here, they're looking for the doll, and I said, "No, it's up here on the bed." Yeah, I saw it on the bed too. It's in Shirley's bedroom, actually. That's where Shirley slept. And Shirley is. Oh, oh. wait, who is Shirley? That, well, Shirley lived in that bedroom, and Shirley was pushed down the stairs in the basement. Really? Yeah. As many Did she get hurt? Well, she died. Wait, not from the not from being the fall, right? Yeah, she was. What? Born. So, oh. yeah, my mom, nobody was home. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm so sorry. You know what? Let me give this to you. I forgot I have a microphone on. I need to give this to you. Sorry, they probably can't hear you barely. Okay. Well, not, not well, earlier when I was next to you, they would. Here you go. Oh, God. You just hold it. You don't have to. You just one test. Casual. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Wait, so she, tell me what happened because this is, I never knew this. This is crazy. So Shirley lived upstairs. That was her bedroom. And Can on a Friday yes no? night, 
she came home and my mother was down in New York visiting me. What Friday night? Back in 2003. Okay, okay. Yeah, and my mom was down in New York visiting me and my son, you know, he was having cancer treatments. And uh -huh. then my mom came home on Sunday night and found a this. newspaper and her pocketbook at the bottom of these steps. Okay. And my mom went into her room, into her house downstairs and saw the door ajar. Like, I didn't know anything about this until like years later, mm -hmm. a few years later. And I guess, you know, Shirley was, you know, found dead in the basement. No she was there way. for three days. <gasps> Oh, at the man. bottom of the steps in the basement. So when you open the door, oh my gosh, the... she fell that like why was she in uh, my mother's can house? Can you show us where it happened? Yeah. Oh wow, okay, that'd be great. But the travel nurse slept up here and I was delisted from Airbnb because he kept accusing me of going into his room and I'm like Number one, I'm not into 30 year old punks. <laughs> not into 30 year old punks. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. And, Probably you know, like, not. I'm not just like into that at, at all, like, just period, the end. And, yeah. like, he accused me, and I kept calling Airbnb mm. every day, all day. They were so resistant. They weren't helping me as the homeowner. They were trying to help him. Is there and anything we can do to, like, help with that? I don't even know. If you think of anything, well, let me know. Well, you know what? If you're scared of haunting, don't book a haunted Yeah, don't go to a haunted Airbnb. No, here. If you're a travel nurse, Seriously, you don't want to come to the Iceland house. Yes. But if you want to film a movie, we filmed yep. hundreds of Dude, movies Dude, ghost here. hunting. Yep. Ghost hunting. Yeah, this place is extremely famous. I had no idea how historic this place is. It's my sixth generation family home, and the spirits are very pleasing to those that are very loving and kind mm -hmm. but if you have like negative energy they will feed off you yeah they will, they will yep. yeah. see They'll you know i i out. tell people this all the time i said you know what when you go ghost hunting especially if it's a place that's like you know a little kind of dark or something you'd never ever want to go when your mood is down, when your energy is bad, no. because that's what happened when I went to Bobby Mackey's and yo, it took way advantage of me. And right. this is real. This is yep. dangerous. Yep. Like this is no joke. And that's why we say pray when you go to this. I haven't even prayed. I forgot to pray, but I just say like, you know, be positive, have good energy or don't go. Like, very good. I'm mm -hmm. glad you said that. Cause I say that all the time and you're the second only other person I've ever heard say that. So you make I, a very good point. Yeah. I, I protect the house. Honestly, I am sixth generation and I do protect the house because they trust me. Mm. Mm. I like that. Is what are the names of um the spirits here? Well, I don't know who Paul is, but Paul, Paul is a frequent visitor and he actually follows me. Like I went to the Shanley house, he mm -hmm. followed me there. Oh. And like um wow. I know there's a tall like shadow man. Do you think somebody's something's following you right now? No. Me? No? Yes. No, I know that they're like the travel nurse, for example. Mm -hmm. The travel nurse, I know that the travel nurse was pinned out mm -hmm. because the travel nurse was bullying me, no. harassing me every mm -hmm. fucking day. Mm. That's terrible. So, um, I think I should have thought of. Yeah, you can stand right. Like, I'm going to go. I don't want to say it. Like, I feel a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm blocking you. My no, bad. no, no. I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, that's good. Back oh, only, kitty. Um, you know, this is a dog. Let me just scoot a little bit quicker because I feel so, a little bit uncomfortable here on the door. Sorry. Let me ask you a question. What do you think? What do you think as far as, like, with um, prayer and, like, going to some of these places and places that have, like, sometimes bad spirits? What do you think about that? I mean, everybody has their own opinion. You don't have to even answer it, but, you know, I like, see, I think everybody's problem is like people judge people so much and they say things like as if they know everything. And the thing is, we shouldn't judge people. And I think everybody should tell a side or their story, whether it's wrong or right, because that's how we learn. And people, the more information they get, the better, you know, you could decide for yourself. And I think it's always good, even if it doesn't 
align with what I believe. I think people nowadays, they division is the worst word I hate. They try to separate mm-hmm. people based on race, um, religion, you know, um, you know, politics, like absolutely everything instead well, of us all just it, loving each they, other they, and just understanding, not mm-hmm. judging everyone. Right. Well, they're judging because they're in fear of the unknown mm. and they're not in succinct mm. <laughs> with who they are as a human because we are all energy within and beyond this human garb that we're in. Mm-hmm. So I believe that, you know, there's a lot of curious people that come here, but for the most part, like that travel nurse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he was in fear. And I think when people visit houses that are haunted, that, you know, they're they're wanting to know more and to learn more and to possibly experience like so for an example can i talk about the lizzie borden house sure i'm going sure. to step over here because i don't okay i feel super uncomfortable i'm sorry I feel super that's okay uncomfortable standing there I don't know. so yeah, let me you want to go back over there i'll stand over here i just wanted to no, I stand just, over there for me go back to where you were you're good i just don't like having my back to this it just well why don't you tell, tell me right here i think it'd be cool to come all in right here. let's come in here i like this so this room Hey, you know it's funny. So me and Omar were doing a live stream once, yeah. and we are not used to using microphones and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You look great, by the way. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but we were uh, we were doing <laughs> we we're doing a live stream, and uh, we just started using microphones. Omar went to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yes, and I was talking, and little did actually let me put it over here. It'll be better. Little did um did he realize, unless he was just joking around. Mm-hmm. He went to the bathroom with it on, and we could hear everything he was saying and doing. Right. Oh, that's, that's crazy. terrible. Isn't it? That is crazy. I, I'm actually going to go into it because, like. But well, what's really cool is they can hear you perfectly right now, even if the camera's way over oh, here. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. There we go. But. There we go. Okay. I'm go gonna... ahead. What were you saying before? Big shout out to the 420 fans here right now. 420. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. By the way, this uh, this Mimi over here, she is a big baller on Facebook. Like, how many followers do you have on Facebook? Uh, about four hundred thousand. About four hundred G's. What's it called? The spiritual empath. The spiritual empath. So, if you're on Facebook, you like Facebook, make sure you go and follow the spiritual empath. And also, if you didn't know, for the last two months. I've been uploading daily on Facebook. That's right, daily video every single day on Facebook. It's James the Fam, and you can go into the description of this live stream and follow me on Facebook and get some extra cool bonus footage. Anyhow, this is amazing. Like not ama- not necessarily amazing, but the that, story of what happened in the basement. Like coming through that room, and I know that I feel like it's all. And listen, Eric put it We're out there. Uh-huh. It only goes off when it's like, and it's changing color like crazy. Really? Really? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. It's wow. going from red to from red to green, red to green. Wow. It's going crazy in there. Oh, let me show what uh, you're saying. So you were talking about like, uh-huh. okay, so I, I'm all about transitioning loved ones that mm-hmm. are transitioning to the other side. But I went to the Lizzie Borden house to try to transition whoever was there. And I had the most horrific experience in my entire life. Oh, no. Okay. I am not even joking. I didn't know the history of the Lizzie Borden house. However, I thought this man was going to, like, rape me in bed. Are you kidding? (sighs) No, I'm not joking. Because he kept coming over to my left side, and I had my son's crosses here and his rosary beads here so i was there to kind of like help him trend i was trying to help whoever transition and it turned into a fucking shit show and i was so scared and um so and then like i thought about it like years after and i'm like you know i am i am a heoka empath i am an empath i am a transitional I don't know, shaman, witch, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know, but I work energetically with humans on this earth to help them transition to the other side. I've been to the other side. I worked with Sylvia Brown back in 1998. 
which I really believe. That name sounds familiar Sylvia to me. Sylvia Brown. She, she was on the Montel Williams show. So when I transitioned my grandmother to the other side. This and lady's I, a big baller, by the way, guys. She's been in movies, so much, like, tons of stuff. Like, sorry, I, I know you're not, like, you don't like to brag about yourself, but she's a big deal over here. Are you okay, sweetie? Me? Yeah. Yeah, why? All right. I'm a little hot, honestly. Look, will you look at... Oh, come over here. I want... I, I can't over, see really good. Come over here. No, it's okay. Look at Valentino there. He's right here. Do you see him right here? Holy shit. <laughs> Hi. I don't know what I was looking at for a second. Aww. You're a cutie. Hi. So Hi. my main pivot in life and my main pivot to purpose is to help people transition here on this earth plane, even like spirit and so this house being my family generational sixth generation house mm. i really can't figure out who the fuck is always here like mm. i know my son is here he will pull through but he's doing it to protect me were these two oval photos, paintings of these two people, which are my great grandfather and great no grandmother. Way. Oh, wow, that's cool. But, um, you know, growing up here, I always felt the energy very wonky. Mm. And then when I came back- Really? Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. upstate New York in general or? Well, upstate New York is a little wonky anyway. <laughs> However, everywhere's a little wonky. You know, there's certain places in New York State, and there's like certain locations. And I know that those two wells mm -hmm. that were found in the basement, James. Oh my gosh. The two wells. Yeah, I just remember the, about the that. The water was, was like simmering, simmering, simmering. And then we found that pick knife. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Okay, so what is this? What is this? What went on here? Wow. I don't know. This place is so cool. There's just so much to it. Um, would you mind, like, quickly, I don't want to take too much of your time, but just point out the um, portal, but also, um, what was it in the basement I wanted to see? This is oh, where she where she fell and passed okay, away. Okay, so this, this is Shirley's bedroom, James. Uh, right oh, the here, one that honey. passed away then yeah. fell? Oh, yeah. poor thing. So Shirley, um, oh my God, what? look at that. Oh crap, it's going way. <gasps> See when I mentioned Whoa, Shirley? That wasn't going off before at all. Look at that, look at that. Look wow. At that. Wow. And so that's. No, I was not expecting that whatsoever. Look what at that? that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. Like that was not going off, guys. Right when you said Shirley. I know. Shirley, can you, if it's you, can you stop making that blink right now? If you. Do you see that she's slowing it down? Yeah, I do. I got goosebumps right now. I'm not even joking. Can you turn it off, make it stop blinking if you want us to go downstairs in the basement? It's going down again. Do you want us to not go in the basement? Dude, that's crazy how it's just going off like it's, that. Well, the, it's talking back to you, I think. Yeah. I, I believe hey, it's, it's, it's talking with you. Mm. So because it's going blink, 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 blink. And then like when you speak to it, Shirley, sweetheart. Yo, Davros, what's up, my man? And Kelsey York and Ron, thank you all for becoming members. Shirley, do you members. mind if we go in the basement, sweetheart? If you would like for us to go in the basement, can you? Whoa, oh, 
they, they really pause there too. Well, it's pausing because the energy reacts. Yeah, yeah. Just like about 10 to 30 seconds after you speak that they need time to react. Hmm. Crazy. Okay, we're going downstairs. All right, cool. Let's go check let's this go. out, guys. This is exciting. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. on. And this I've never been able to live on. stream in the basement. Do you see this? Okay, so Paul is always in this room. Paul. Paul. Okay, this, thing, this one's going off like crazy, too. Paul. Do these usually go off like this? I don't even know anything about I don't know about anything these about these. Yeah, that's what I just said, Jinx. <laughs> Whoa, oh, yeah, no, it's, I don't know. I don't know about these things. It's, they're still blinking. We'll go, I don't know. We'll go check out the basement, guys, and um, I want to show you something pretty crazy, too. I'm going to close this up a little bit, make it a little more portable. Cool. Thanks again for inviting us, Mimi. I really appreciate it. You know what? I enjoy loving kind energy. I can I see truly, that. truly, truly I do. love hanging. I see that's all I do is surround myself with people that have positive energy. Like, life's too short to have negative energy. And people really do feed off your energy. So, dude, look at this. This is insane. And then the portal's right over here, apparently. So, the, so, the, so hey, this, hey, is, no, this is the know, chest that I, I found. I know that they didn't know the show. Oh, that's it? So this is the chest okay. that was found right. underneath those steps. Mm -hmm. And in that chest, I found that sailor outfit that is from um ssi mm -hmm. from the um what's it called like the you know the pearl harbor thing oh okay this was from pearl harbor he was a dispatcher no way and i don't even know who he is apparently his name is william garvin william garvin and he his outfit was found in here dude that's amazing, this is an amazing box that is crazy I don't know why I thought it was this thing over here. Thanks, I wasn't even recording the right thing. That. Yeah. Wow. That's a great story. Um, so the really portal really area, yeah, 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 yeah. I lost her. Right oh, sorry. So right. ask Rick. Rick knows about Shirley. Yeah, Shirley, that's I crazy. Didn't know that you guys didn't know that from the last time. Was I there. did not know that. Well, I did, I did hear something about. No, yeah, I don't I, think I did. I don't know. I can't remember. But this like, isn't. This is crazy for me. I have a bad memory though, so I don't Rick know. Rick has experienced so, so much in this house. This is Rick. That that's Mimi's husband, by the way, guys. How you doing? Yes, yeah, sir. Appreciate uh, you letting us come again and spend the night. Well, oh, can you mainly, stand a little closer to him because of the microphone? That's fine. Just good. to be close. To just you. to be true. All right. So, I'm in so, love with you. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a good singer. So tell them about when you first came here. What happened? Mm -hmm. How I was pushed. Tell them the push story. Oh gosh! Well, you don't want to do the Shirley. That's the big story. Yeah, I want to hear Shirley. I want to hear about Shirley. We'll do the push story. Well, she told us pretty much the it, whole story about Shirley. It but kind of in conjunction with Shirley, because there's some pushy spirits in this house. Mm. Literally, they like shoving. Mm -hmm. So Shirley used to live upstairs, and you guys, I, I believe, are investigating that room this evening. Yes, I'm gonna sleep in there. Too. Record myself sleeping too. You know, th there's a lot of activity. Actually, at one point, we were sleeping in that room. Uh -huh. And Michelle has a video. There were orbs flying through. My boy, Lou Rock. And the funny thing is, Valentino, this little guy, mm -hmm. he was seeing them in real time. We couldn't see them oh, in real time. Oh, he was barking? Time. No, he, he did was, that when um, we, we were have here last a video. time with we, Yasko. Yeah. yeah, we have a video of him actually following with his eyes the orbs on the video, but we couldn't see them. Mm. But now I digress on that one. Let me get back to Shirley. Shirley used to live in that room, and her mother, Michelle's mother, was down visiting down in Westchester County. Mm -hmm. So Shirley was alone in the house. So she was she was living upstairs. For some reason, she came into this part of the apartment. Mm -hmm. And I have a theory. Sorry, guys. Ended up opening that basement door. Mm -hmm. And Michelle's mother gets back three days later, finds Shirley dead at the bottom of the steps. Really? Okay. So now she was there for about three days. Uh-huh. It's not really funny. I, I giggled because. No, that's three horrible. Days. Three it's days. It's horrible. She was an older woman. And uh, Michelle and I went, you know, because her mother was very vague on the story. It's so sad. It is sad. 
her mother was very vague on the story. So Michelle and I went and got the police report, and it's listed as an accident. But we sat there and we went over. What do you it. think really happened? I think she was lured in. There was nobody in the house, mm. lured in by this evil entity. And Victory said, "There's a man up there." Oh my god! You know, and and he's not nice. And That's Shirley is nice. Right there. And Shirley said, "You guys can stay," and the man says, "You guys can leave." So my theory is that Shirley was lured in by noises, by whatever, maybe thinking Michelle's mother was down here, which she wasn't. She was two and a half hours away. And why she would open up that door that leads to the basement makes yeah, well, no sense. Yeah, did she ever go to the basement? Off? Like, no, there's nothing well, down there. Why would she, she go to the basement? Nothing. She would only come to this yeah. apartment if Michelle's mother Like, if the washer and dryer's on, I can understand. But there's nothing down nothing, there, right? Nothing. There was no reason for so, her to be in this. You know, now I kind of get what you're saying, lured in. Because think about how old was she? Yeah, probably like about 65. Okay, so, but what would be the per She was home alone, right? Yeah. She's home alone. Upstairs. What would make somebody, what would possess somebody to want to go into the basement if there's nothing down there? It doesn't make sense to me. She, there was, to she didn't have something. anything. She wasn't carrying anything with her, did no. she? Like, they didn't find she anything She had a her? purse, which she left on the steps as though she heard something. Dude, that is so see. weird. You know, those steps right oh, there wow. was all like on the second or third step. Right, right. And it was there three days later because she was back there on the floor in the basement. So that that's... You know, my, yeah, my, my I agree. That's I don't know. What do you guys think? That's to me. That sounds like well, kind of like sus. All the pushing sounds kind of sus to me. You, Rick, you oh, that cut my head off there. Pushing, mm -hmm. and, and the reason I say pushing is because I saw Michelle get shoved upstairs in that kitchen mm -hmm. where you guys were up there. You know that mm -hmm. kitchen up there. She was sitting on a stool. I was in this front room. Just I don't know why I was looking in her direction. She was on a PC, I think. Me yeah. and on the, you know on the. Mm -hmm. breakfast thing and i saw her get what well, looked like she got shoved i said are you okay what just happened she goes something just pushed me there was nothing there i saw it i saw as though a physical push happened mm. but there was nothing there i saw it that's i wish i had it on video but you know who you don't yeah these things can happen randomly if you Unless yeah, you, that, you know what i always say <laughs> i always say the best things never get caught on camera you know what i mean no, because otherwise mm -hmm. you have to run cameras in your house 24-7. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's crazy. So where is the portal area that you guys say, and why do you think it's a portal? You said it's on the first floor? Well, yeah, that's where we found that trunk. And Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. that's over there, okay. Uh, I stepped in the portal area. Okay, I'm going to yeah. go down in the basement because yeah. this is so I exciting. I never have that. internet. Oh, gosh. Up. Yes, I'm mic'd up. No, it's... This one. Oh, yeah. You're going to come down? You want to come down? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let me grab my sandals. Hold on. Right? It's the dirt down there, right? The yeah, room. I yeah. just I have socks on. There's not much I can do about it. I did that last time. Um, I, got, I got my socks dirty. Make sure you, you got the mic on you there, buddy. Yeah, yeah I got it. it. All right. All right, guys. Make sure. Make sure. You, uh, can I see? Yes. Make sure you guys leave a like for this. We're going to be spending the whole night. And my main objective was to just go live for you guys because, honestly, I already have a video that I filmed here with Asco. The only reason I came back was to get a little interview with Mimi about the next day having the house delisted off the platform directly because the house is haunted, which is insane. So I got that done. I might film a little bit tonight after this live stream, but I thought, you know what, let's do a nice, long live stream. Saturday night, I don't know what you guys had planned tonight, but... I figured, why not? And then, you know, if you're watching later, cool. So we're going to have a good live stream here tonight, guys. So I hope you appreciate it. And all I ask is for a like. And make sure you check out my boy, Lou Rock's channel. I encourage him to come back to YouTube. Which way are we going? If you're going, in the, you're going in the basement. Is that it right there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Wrong way. This is when I would, uh, if I was uh, filming a video, I'd play some music right now definitely have to duck love you jesus Ooh. oh yeah right at the bottom oh i didn't know anybody huh. well, no i don't think so maybe i did i don't know i don't think so unless i accidentally was guys in the comments i have a mic on was that me that whistled or no I don't. I just don't. Open the door. 
Yeah. The door is open. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Did you guys hear? Was that me that made a whistle noise, guys? I think they should be able to tell me. We're all alike. Um, Yo, if the right, right, right. Good point. I'm sorry. Yeah. If the lady fell from here. Do you think she was already walking down when bro, she fell, or do you think up, she fell at, from the top? Right, so look, maybe if, something pushed her, bro. All right, leave the camera right there, right? Yeah. So say you're here, and somebody—if you're gonna fall here, this is so steep that if you're falling, mm -hmm. you're gonna hit this on the way down. Look at right here, right? Just point the camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see this? Yeah. Over it's so low. Right I have here. to duck. Yeah. You're gonna hit this. This is a dangerous. Fucking, oh, excuse, I'm sorry. This is a dangerous step. Oh, I got to take this down, guys. All right. See you later. Bye. I'm just kidding. No, I could just imagine falling down this. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of that. funny. He just said that. And Hold then on a head. second. Now, that's another theory, too. Yeah. Because another thing is, say you were walking downstairs, mm -hmm. and you forgot to duck, and you just banged your head and just fell. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, true, true. It happened yeah. the other way. I don't know. Up. What do you guys think in the boom, comments? How do you think or what do you think back. happened? Yeah. This is probably the most likely. So this basically is... her body was found right here three days later, bro. Well, listen to this. Look at this. If you're I got something up, crazy to tell you guys after this. Especially with your height. Yeah. Or even my height. I'm 5'8". If you're coming up too fast, you're going to hit your head. Yeah, that's not what happened, though. I don't it think it was. Be. No, because she wouldn't have died from just two or three steps. No, she but fell from if there, you bro. hit your head here and fell straight back, right? You're gonna smash uh, down, bro. Maybe, maybe. There's multiple I'm ways curious. she could have fell. I'm curious. I'd like to see the position. What do you of the guys body. think? Wasn't it like how was she positioned? Oh, 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 oh. I... wait, her head was to the left. Her head was right there. Here. Yeah. Was she on her stomach, on her side, or on her back? I don't know. Don't know. Hmm. But her head was over here. So that's a possibility. Boom. Ah, boom. How do you use that Go back. Pod right there? How do you turn it on? Okay, it on so. The bottom. Yeah. Um, there you go. And that's it. Okay, I know no. you probably hear just, two people. Oh, um, oh. You dingling, bro. Bro, I just banged my head on it. Wait, are you both down here right now? You and Eric? Oh, we'll come back. We'll let you guys finish what you're doing. How much time do you need? Uh, we don't need that much. We actually do. Yeah, but for. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I didn't realize you guys were in the middle of something. I'll come back down in like ten or fifteen minutes. Huh? Um. Yeah, I wanted to look at the comments and see if that was me that made that noise when it came down. Hmm. I don't know. All right, we'll go check out some more. If someone want to show you guys outside, put some fresh air. It'd be good. All right. Yeah. Finish up. I mean, uh, do what you guys got to do in here. Sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, you live? Yeah. Oh, okay. We had the streamer house tonight, basically. That's dope. You ever heard of the streamer house? What? Streamer house? Um, I'm gonna go outside. The world, world is watching. The world is watching. That's right. Did you? Are you gonna go outside with yeah, me? Oh, okay. Really, can you grab the REM pod? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to fall down the damn stairs. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Let me grab the mic. Oh, no. Oh, you, oh, no, I was going to touch it. All right. So we're so going we'll to. We'll leave this there, here. but we're going to close it. Here. Let me see. Are you no, ready? Like oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, if you have to do something, just hand me the mic. Or turn it off. How this is nice off? here. Um, there's a power button on there. What are you doing? This big button. What? I put my shoes on. Oh, all right. So check this out, guys. I love this property here. Is it grass wet? Oh, well, if it is, it's dry. Cool. But look at this nice backyard right here. Super cool. And then this is what I would do if I had this property. You got this big guy, like, what is it, like garage right here? Big loft. Like, you, there's uh, stuff to run water. So you could put a bath, small bathroom in here. Well, and then just live in here, and then you know what? You, you put this on this you you are. put this on Airbnb, and like you get to meet all these new people. And what's sad is it got delisted and taken off Airbnb. Yeah, like dude, like I don't think. Do you think it was her going in this no guy's way. room in the middle of the night? No. no. 
Like, I'm telling you, there's some kind of crazy stuff that was happening that night, especially with, like, it's not just good spirits. There are some demonic, uh, definitely some demonic spirits here that will feed off you if you're not careful. By the way, Lou, are you saying a prayer, bro? Saying a prayer right now? Yeah, uh, no, you don't have to do it right now, I'm saying, but make sure you say a prayer before we leave and... You know, very important when you go to these places. I'm telling you, like, I had to learn the hard way. I didn't know they had back steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is the back mm -hmm. step, I guess. I remember this one place that I used to go to with my ex. It was called, um, dang it, it's in Florida. Um, I forget, but they had like a, um, it was like a big hangar, airplane hangar. They turned it into a movie studio and then like a huge little mansion inside. And then they had like a tree house. And then they, they basically like seven or eight different things you could rent, but they give you, uh, everyone gets a golf cart. They have, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think, um, segways. They have motorbikes. You can even go in the airplane because uh, there's a landing strip built in there. Sorry. And it's all a part of their Airbnb. I have to remember the name of it, but if you're ever in Florida, yeah. like basically on the East Coast, middle of the state, it is awesome. I can't remember the name of it right now, though. I'll let you know if I remember. I just seen something on that. Which way did you just have that camera pointed? That way? Uh, I don't remember. If you had it straight I forward, no, in front I don't of think you, so. Listen, right on what that. What did roof, you see? If it was pointed towards that roof, there was something on that roof that bounced over and then bounced to the next roof and just like bounced. Yeah, it looked like a squirrel or something, but it's oh, not. It's nighttime. Okay. It's not a squirrel. Hmm. It's not big, bro. It was six inches. Oh, it was really? Like, it was tiny. It was just like be... and jumped over there. I think you got it on camera, actually. I can't believe you admitted it on camera. Bro, six inches is pretty average. Hold on. You know, six inches is kind of average, bro. All right. This is how you <laughs> could tell you're in New York. When <laughs> you could look into people's freaking yes. living room and you could just yes. watch yes. what they're doing. Is That's... it illegal to, like, look? Oh, man. No. I mean, if their window's open, it's open. Think about living. In I've a, seen people in New York in these high rises in a high that rise. have like telescopes, yeah, bro, yeah. to look into other things. Other people's houses. Yeah, you guys ever seen that? That's yeah. crazy. That's like a psychological thing, though. Is just looking at the way people live. Wait, is Yasko here? Somebody said, "How you doing, Yasko?" Let me see. Yeah, Yasko's here. What up, bro? What up, man? Yo, give Yasko that truffle shuffle, bro. Ah, said James. Oh, yes. Okay. So I will, bro. That's what I'm going to do. So when I wrote earlier today that I was going to be live here tonight, um, and especially with all the stuff caught in the basement, he all alone. And that's what I'm going to do here tonight on this live stream. I went down there just a minute ago, and Lucid and Eric is his name? Yep. From the SK Pierce Mansion. He works there. Uh, he's down there investigating and doing some stuff down there. So... As soon as they're done, I will go down there all alone in the basement and lock myself in. So, Luke, can you make sure you lock me in and stuff? Yeah, I got you. All right, I'll be locked in there, and then we'll figure out a good time. Door, all right, yeah, go. It's on, bro. He don't think, like, I'll go in the basement all alone for a period of time, locked in. Bro, your ride's here. We're in New York, man. Just to tell already. Jeez. So, all right, tell him about last time we were here. Last time we were here for about oh, five seconds. Oh, bro. Yeah, they haven't seen my video Listen, yet. we were here for about five seconds. Literally. And I'm standing a minute. there. We're and here I'm, like, I'm like, what the hell is going on? There's some yes, dude. Yes, go. Make sure you guys check out. Yes, go. Car mm -hmm. in a, right in the front of the building. It was, it was funny. Dude, and then, like, I walk up, and yeah, yeah, there was an off. alarm going off. Dang. Oh, it was that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro, it was crazy. Like, literally, the guy was like, Lou was too. He was about ready to go say something or do something because the guy literally trying to bust into the vehicle. Yep. It was literally like right over there, like a couple houses down. And <laughs> that's when I was like, because Lou had parked all the way around the corner. I'm like, bro, you should go get the car and park yep. in front of the house. I got the car <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, so, Even yeah. If I had the car right there. They were still breaking in the cars right there. So. That's true. That's true. Yo, we got 413 people watching and 459 likes. Let's see if we can get the 500 likes, fam. I'd appreciate it. And um, I'm going to be locked in the basement all alone on this live stream. You never know what happened there. And I'm excited for that. I'm a little nervous, too. But it's going to be crazy. All right, dope. Um, while we're waiting, let's go back upstairs. All right. Dope. 
because I didn't really spend too much time in the attic too. Wasn't there some Ouija board stuff somewhere? Um, or did they move it? I think it was on the front porch. Bro, I still can't believe the stories from this place. Like how I got taken off Airbnb. I had no idea that the, the woman fell in the basement and died and was there for three days. Bro, Not to mention it's mysterious how she like went in there. Don't you guys think that's kind of strange? Like, definitely weird. But I don't know. They'd be doing all these seances and stuff here, playing with Ouija boards. Oh, here they are. Yeah, here we are. You know what's cool when you have socks in a place like this? Hey, Lou, hold this. So if you guys you got want socks, to watch you James's YouTube, James, will you tell everybody what your YouTube channel At is? At Mo Sergi. No, really seriously. What is your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is at uh, The Fam. The Fam. The Fam, as in the family. T H E F A M. The Fam. And mm -hmm. that is Louie over there. My boy Lou Rock. Well, He's just a YouTuber, bro. Just a YouTuber, bro. That's his slogan. Well, other YouTubers are stealing my slogan. They have. I've heard a lot of other people say that. Yeah, you know it's what? true. People will steal the everything. Their they will. Because your vibration is so much higher than that. Mm. That's how that goes. That's they true. want your energy. They want your vibration. They want all of it. They you. try to feed so off they you. They will you know? feed off of you. Mm -hmm. They will steal from you. This is dead ass I the am truth, not guys. Joking. No, it's kidding? true. It's so true. I, I never thought that was true. Like, even into like so even in, <laughs> <laughs> even like two years, three years into doing this, I didn't think it was true, guys. I didn't think it was true. I didn't think anything could really happen to me like that. Till I went to Bobby Mackey's and the rest of that whole trip. And there's oh, stuff yeah. you guys don't yeah, even know sure. yet. And my boy Lou has some other films. So I'm going to be making a video on that. Yeah, with never really seen really before really stuff. Really especially really from the place in Vermont, which we had the demon possession, yeah, a.k.a. alien thing. So way, he found all the old footage for that. Davros says he's Davros. not a YouTuber. Davros is not a YouTuber, no. Hmm. I guess not. Hmm. Everybody agrees with them, though. Wait, can I? Oh, you're on. You're on the live stream or not? Well, yeah, I am. Oh, I want to. When you're done, I want to see like what the homepage looks like. The home. So, like, if I show it on my live stream, so people know like exactly which oh, one my is God, you. Are you kidding me? Oh. I... Okay, that scared the crap out of me for a second. Okay. Thanks, bro. We didn't know cool. Our turn there. for the basement, or All my right. turn. Can I see All right. Um, I'll come back and then we'll do something, but um, can I get the mic? I'm going to have you lock me in. Oh, yeah, please. Thank you. All right. Here is uh, Mimi's Facebook, guys. So if you're in the Facebook, check her out. She's got a lot of great content. And like 400,000, you don't get that easily. So we actually need 1 million signatures for Lost Awareness Day. Can I talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Hang on. Let me just try to – you can start talking while I'm trying to zoom in. Why is this not? It is working, honey. Okay, it my vision working. just sucks. All right, yeah, go. No, no, here, sweetie. Let me. Help no, no, you. that's good. That's got it. No, look, look. Hmm. Here it is. Spiritual oh, yeah. empath. There you go. But here we go. Lost Awareness Day, September 29th. Can mm. I talk about that? Story? Absolutely. So, guys, I'm gonna be locked. I don't know if you know this, Mimi, but Lou is gonna lock me in the basement all alone for this live stream, which is gonna be crazy. But before I go in there, guys. Mimi is going to tell us a story, please. Or uh, oh, not really, a story, really but tell us about I mean, this event. No, I'm, you're good. I'm just telling you this Absolutely. Story. So I am so passionate about Loss Awareness Day, September 29th. I am really passionate about Loss Awareness Day. I created Loss Awareness Day, September 29th, inspired by Lisa Marie Presley. Oh, wow. She reached out. Awesome yeah, she reached out to me on August 31st last oh. year and asked, how can I help? Really? Yeah, she did. She fought and then and then she started following me on Instagram. Oh wow. So and at the time she only had 240 followers, or she only followed 240 people on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And she had like a million or more followers, but she followed me. Wow. So you got it. She's probably studied who I was, AKA the grief warrior is a registered trademark, mm -hmm. but I've experienced grief my entire life. I've lost children. Mm -hmm. My parents, my brother death by suicide will mark five years, August 25th, but loss. So, so wait, is the event here? No, loss awareness day is a petition and I need oh, okay. 1 million signatures. Change.org. Is it going to be on your Facebook? It's on my 
it is on my Facebook. Loss Awareness Day is on change.org. All you have to do is sign the petition. And how far back do you think you have it on your Facebook? It's on my, if you look up, like, if you Google Lost Awareness Day, Lisa Marie Presley, or you go on my website, Michelle with one L, Cynthia.com. And all they have to do is e-sign it, that's it. Yeah. Awesome. I really, really, really would appreciate it. Thank you, sweetie. There's going to be at least 15,000 of you guys that end up watching this after it's live. So go on over there, and I'll put a link in the description after, if you're watching this later on, and you can do it. Cool, got you, Mimi. Thank you. I'm so grateful for you. No worries. Oh, the, yeah. you got it, sweetie. Yep, I got it. Okay. Yep. All right, thanks. All right, Lou, you ready to lock me in, bro? All right, let me put my mic back on really hey, quick. Don't bang your head on the way down. Do what? Don't bang your head on the way down. Oh no, I, I don't. Oh god. Bro, I'm telling you. Just the vibes thinking about that. Yeah, I guess so. It's such a low pass. I'm curious what you I, guys I'm think about that. From, from somebody who's banged his head on things so many times. I got scarred. I got scarred that busted my whole head. Really? Yeah, I have a line on my forehead right here. That's crazy. All I right. Hit, I hit the corner of a wall. Hey, wait. Do you have a um, spirit talker? No. Um, I don't even have my fan on me. Hey, Mimi, you don't have spirit talker. Oh, she's live anyways. Well, I, I have the line. Oh, okay. But you guys don't have like a cell phone or a spirit box that would work in the basement or like an app or something? No. No, okay. Like a white one, like a yeah, some a spirit box I, I could use in the has, basement. Well, she has like a couple of the, You know what? Let me ask. Let me go ask um, Lucid because she, I think they were just using the spirit box. Let me see if I, I can get one. Box. Will it work? Can I, ha- can I borrow it? Yes, you can. Oh, thank you, bro. Yo, That's hashtag good guy Lou in the comments, guy. Listen. Do me a favor. Yes. Don't press the antenna in because I broke it. Okay. And it'll just get stuck you don't. You don't have a speaker for it. I might. Okay. Um, yeah, because we need to make it up now. Yo, hashtag you got Lou in the comments, fam. We gonna have a spear box. I'm kind of nervous to be in the basement all alone. Like in this basement, this ain't a normal basement. This is like a demonic type basement. I'm nervous. Maybe I can grab some kind of light yeah. thing or something too. I'll be up in a Man, this makes me nervous, guys. Like doing something all alone is a totally different vibe than when you're down there with somebody or somebody's down there with you. And the fact that like they be messing with Ouija boards and stuff down there, and I haven't even told you what we caught on camera down there when I was here before. Bro, if you're holding it, I don't think you'll need a speaker. Uh, let me see how. Let me put, I put it on. Let's see how loud it gets. If you're holding it, because I do this in videos all the time, I just. Hold it up. Let me see. And I'll ask the fan to let me know if they can hear Hold it. Hold it right there. And up to your head and up to the camera at the same All right. time. All right. Here, guys. Let me know if you haven't heard anything that come through yet. But oh, this and blows. You have to make sure it's scanning. Wait, too. this is on? Listen. Yeah, it freezes. You see listen, you see that? Uh-huh. It's frozen. When it freezes, uh-huh. hit the channel button and hold the channel button down. Wait. That's how you get it scanned. Ooh, okay. That's Wait, so like which God is the channel people. button? This one? No, it's this one. It's the first row. Okay. You can hit either the top okay. or bottom one. Just hold it down. Just hold it down for how long? A second. And, and then like, it, yo, I swear down. that light just dimmed down, but I could be wrong. Yo, Let me know if that like, dimmed oh down. God, All right, yeah, this works perfect, bro. Thank you. Yeah, no oh, God, now I'm really nervous, getting... bro. I know, this is great. Um, Where do I go? This way? Uh... Uh, uh, thanks, bro. Oh man! Don't bang your head on the way down. Thanks for this idea, um, uh, Yasko. All right, bro. All right, man. Lights uh, off. Yeah, lights off. There you go. Yo, make sure you guys smash the like right now. Be careful. Yes, sir. I'm back in it. Oh God. Yo, there's really a lock on the door. I'm locking it down. All right, yeah, lock me in, bro. All right, I can't even get out of this. I'm gonna keep the spare box on for. I'm gonna keep the spare box on for a little bit and see if we get anything down here. It gets annoying just letting you know. Let me uh, let me just set up a couple things for a second. You know, I can't believe like legit. This is where she died right here. 
Can anybody come through the spirit box? Is there any spirits down here? Love to hear from you. So check this out. I actually had this door close all on its own when I was down here. Ooh, the spider web. Oh, I like that at all. Uh, might not be getting any reset. Oh, you know what? It might be locked up. Let's try to hold that button down. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Is there any spirits down here with us? We'd love to talk to you. But you're not allowed to follow me home and you're not allowed to touch me. Oh, I just heard a laugh. I'm gonna find somewhere to put this down for a second. I'll just show you guys around really quick first. There's such a bad vibe down here. Can you give me a number of how many spirits haunt this house or live at this house? Number would be great. So it's only hit real quick. I think I gotta press the button again. I'm trying to remember what happened. We were down here with uh, Yasko and Mimi. And something happened. I was down here by myself, but right, let me set up this really quick here. Now, supposedly there's something with this chair. I don't know what, but apparently there's something with this chair and somebody sitting in it. Can I sit in this chair? Yes. Did you hear that? I said, yeah. Okay, thank you. Did you guys hear that clear as day? I said, yeah. Dude, that was, that was actually super cool. I'm going to read some of your guys' comments while we're down here right now. Kind of ease the tension a little bit for me, if you know what I mean. And definitely keep your eyes out. Let me know if you see anything. Hey, Annette Ward, good to see you. Really appreciate all the love from you guys, especially from my video that I uploaded yesterday. You guys absolutely loved it and uh, really encourages me to put out more videos. So. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading that video from that tunnel I was telling you about. Did that just say James? Wait, did that say James or am I tripping? I swear it just said James. Maybe some of you can go back and listen to that. Did that say James? Holy crap and over. Yes, it did. Thank you, Unseek Debate. So, love your videos. Yo, we got a new member too. What's up? Um, yes, it did. Holy crap, guys. Really? So what's the chances of that? Yo, and Chloe, thank you for becoming a fan member. And I'll tell you guys what. You know, obviously I'm doing this very long live stream. For, oops, jeez. I'm doing this extremely long live stream for you guys today, tonight. But I like to do some extra stuff for my members. So if you are a member on this channel, which I know a bunch of you guys are, what I'm gonna do after this live stream, I'm gonna go around, or actually what I'm gonna do is at 3 a.m., I'm gonna go around and do like a 10 or 15 minute uncut video at 3 a.m. walking around here, and then I'm gonna directly... <laughs> Dude, I don't, maybe that was them and I'm tripping out, but it literally sounded like somebody was tapping right behind me. Oh, what was I going to say? Um, shoot, what was I saying, guys? I forgot what I was saying all of a sudden. I'm going to flip this around too, but um, remind me what I was saying. Shoot. I can't believe it said James. By the way, are we lagging at all? Oh, million members, yeah, thank you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload, oh, 
an uncut 10, 15 minute video and upload it immediately right here. So probably around 3.30, 4 a.m. You can, if you're a member, you can go and watch that bonus footage. Um, and then I'm gonna finish filming uh, for my main video, guys. What did that say? Can you give me a name? Oh, jeez. What the frick? I need a name, please. I thought, I swear there was a Ouija board down here or something. Oh, that's what it is. Look at this. Any spirits down here? Calling all spirits. Except for the evil ones. Definitely don't want that. And I've had a lot of crazy stuff happen in basements. Hmm. I'm going to reset that again. Let me know if you hear anything come through. Oh, what's that? Oh, the energy is so off in here right now. It's insane. They seem to be yelling a lot up there. I wonder if something crazy is happening there. All right, I'm going to turn this off unless there's anything else you want to say to me. I'm resetting it one more time. What would you like to say? I don't hear anything over here. Oh, it's locked again. Okay, it's going. What the heck? Every time it just stops. Why is it doing that now? See, when you press this, it should scroll through everything. Okay. Who's here with us? I need a name or else I'm going back upstairs. Nothing's happening. I can't hear you. Can't see you. You're not making any noise. You're not even talking to me. All you did was say my name, James. I need more than that. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> I'm going to leave. They did say when I asked if I could send this here, they did say yes. But look, it keeps, I don't know what's going on. Like it'll scroll for a minute. And then it stops. I wasn't doing this before. Not this quick anyways. All right, this is not going to work for me. I'm going to have to turn it off. So you're going to have to say something really quick. Your You're my friend? Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. What's your name, friend? Set that down right there for a second. Oh, what did it say? Oh, you know what? I'm so dumb. I'm so freaking dumb, guys. This whole time, I've been putting the spirit box up to the camera, and I should be. I forgot I'm wearing a mic. I'm sure you guys can hear better in the chat. Can you guys hear it better like this? I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. I'm so forgetful. <laughs> All right. I'm still waiting for that name. Oh, I heard something lightly. Comment if you hear anything. It's sweaty down here. It's awful quiet. Why is it so quiet down here? Are you afraid? Last time I was here, you did so much. Can we speak to the woman that lost her life right here and fell down the stairs? We want to know if she was pushed. Ooh, what that say? It said she's something. Can you say that again to us? Dude, we are getting good responses to the spirit box. Not a lot, but ah! Jesus! Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Oh, gave me a freaking heart attack. I was looking at the light, and I was going over to the camera to grab it, and I didn't realize the camera was right here. I thought it was next to the light. 
I thought something touched me. <laughs> Sorry, I screamed like a freaking girl. Uh, that's scary. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're not dumb, James. I appreciate that. I am forgetful, though. Would that say bleed to death? That's fine, James. Thanks, Amanda. I'm really excited for all these great videos I have to put out for you guys, though. I got two more videos I filmed with Omar. One at the Demon House. And the crazy video. I said and. in the craziest video ever, which was the video we filmed at the Asylum. And uh, it's going to be a tough video to edit because that was the night Omar lost his mom. It was just awful. What an awful night. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if I should even upload that video. I'll have to talk to Omar about it. <sighs> you know, it's not. What did I say? You can comment, guys, if you hear something. Hi, James. What's up? Uh, Parmides. Good to see you. Everyday Treasures. What up, man? Say he took a spooky dookie. Hey, that's my line, brother. That's old. That's so old. Oh, do we just get another member? That's what's up. Oh, no, that's still Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Much love to you. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's been pretty quiet down here. Should I stay down? Should I go upstairs? We're not really getting much. We're not going to hold on the spirit box. We have got some decent, accurate stuff, though. I'm going to sit down for like two minutes. And if nothing happens, we're out of here. Man, it was so active last time we were down here. You know what, though? I got an idea, guys. Hang on. I got an idea. Mimi said that when she's down here, the spirits are way more active. Like, and she's able to, like, have the spirits talk. Let's see if we have Mimi come down, if she wants to. And we'll see if anything happens. Also, I'm going to leave my, leave the spirit box right here next to my mic while I go upstairs. So hopefully it doesn't lock up right away while I go upstairs. So hopefully it doesn't lock up right away. But... I'm going to put this right down right here. And I'll be right back. I'm going to go get her and see if she come down. Is it working? You know what? This thing is like garbage. It just keeps locking up every two seconds. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off for right now. Because it just it keeps turning off every two seconds. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Let me know if you hear anything. Oh, I can hear Boosie. <laughs> no free butt crack. <laughs> If you have a spare box, anything you want to bring? All right, she's coming down, guys. We're gonna put this to the test, fam. Just heard something. Ah! Oops. All right. So Mimi's gonna come down. And this is cool because we're gonna be able to put this to the test. 
she's told me, and it was true last time I was here, but she told me that she can like have the spirits come out and be more active and talk to us. They like her and sure as heck, that's exactly what happened when I was here before, when I filmed like that video is going to be coming out soon. It's not out yet, but you'll see exactly what I was saying. Let's see here live right now. Nope. I got a light. Let's see if we can get this to happen. Yeah, you can come too, Lou, if you want. Uh, yeah, it's on. Here, here's a microphone. Are you ready? Is this working, guys? Comment yes or no in the chat. I'm tapping it now. Here you go. Here's a mic. So I was telling them last time we were down. I was down here with you and Yasko and stuff. Things got really active. Now I've been down here. The spirit box was giving me really good answers. It said my name, James. It answers me when I asked if I could sit in the chair, but it's been very quiet. So I wanted to see if you could do your magic and see if we could get anything here live. Should be cool. Lou, I, I love It's not working in the basement? Uh, No, it does. But the problem is it like times out every oh, like yeah, you, five you seconds. To, it shouldn't be five seconds. No, bro. Oh, like every five seconds. battery, se bro. Uh, that That's might have just happened. Yeah. No, it was working. It just would every five seconds you'd have to press the button again. It doesn't usually do that. That means they're stopping it. Because it usually dude, lasts, I actually thought about that. No, if that was possible, for, it usually lasts for at least two, three minutes without turning off. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, check it out and see what you think. But yeah, Mimi. Um, yeah, curious. You know the spirits better than I do here. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment. Um, thank you to Mimi. So can you, can Your I see? uncle? No, it's working. Yeah, it is working. Can I, I sit in that chair? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what we could Yo, do? you know what I should do? Bro, we could do a sound deprivation live. When yeah, you that would be a we good We can do idea. that. Yeah. What do you guys think about headphones. that? I have headphones, but have we, headphones we need to, do we have a, somebody has a phone with like necrophonics on it? You could do a, uh, uh, that with the spirit box. Um. Yeah. You, well, you you need headphones though for that. Headphones? No. That's not. That's not Bluetooth. I have a wire, but yeah. Um, a wired headphones. No. Oh. Um. So no one. You don't have microphonics on your phone. No. Hmm. Or I'm sure I do. It's upstairs. Because if you do, I can go. I, my phone's upstairs charging. Do you want to go get that and get my phone? What's that? My, you want to get? I mean, you want to go go get that and grab the headphones. My phone is charging. No, I know, but you said you had necrophonics on it. If you grab that in the headphones, we could do the sound deprivation. Yeah, I need it though. It's charging. Like it's dead. Oh, it's okay. Charging. I got yeah. you. All right. Anyhow, go ahead, maybe. I just just keep that on. See if you get any of that. I would really be interested in doing the sound deprivation. That's what, that's what I'd like to do, but his phone's dead, headphones? so we can't do it. I have headphones. I do. That's not I, the have, problem. I have headsets. If you have headphones, we can hook it up to something. Wait, I what? could hook it up if it's Bluetooth. Bro, we. I, from where it's sitting charged. I have headsets. I have Bose headsets. Yeah, that, that's, I have headphones. That's not the problem. The problem is we need the, the, the phone with the yeah. app. Yeah, well, if it's Bluetooth, I could set it up and just put it on. Bro, what do you there, mean? It's in. not going to work all the way from up there down to here. So Bluetooth we need, won't. do you want me to Do you have an outlet down here? Pardon me? Do you have an outlet down here? Power outlet? Yeah, Um. right over there. Okay, by go you. grab the charger and plug it in right over there. Wait. Uh, outlet is right here. Here. Oh, perfect. Go, go grab it. Um, the headphones are on the uh, dresser in that room that I'm in. Heard? Where are they? They're on the oh, dresser in that room. The, the Facebook live stream thing. I cool, guys. So we're going to do a sound deprivation because uh, you guys want to. I think that yeah, you've never done a sound deprivation, have you? No, you're going to have to explain it to me. Oh, I will. I will. This would be cool, too, guys, because I've never done one live, I don't think. So basically, as we're waiting for Lou, guys, uh, and I'll explain it to Mimi as well. Um, most of you guys know all about it, but I'll explain it to you if you don't. Um, a sound deprivation is basically what happened is I'm going to put on a pair of headphones and it's noise canceling. So I won't hear anything except what's coming through this, the spirit box through the necrophonics. So much comes through 
I'm only going to understand and, and understand and hear a certain amount of it. So anything that I can, you know, make out and understand, I'm going to say it out loud, whether it's a name, whether it's a statement, whether it's anything. And then based, you guys will, you'll hear me. And based on that, you guys ask questions. So for example, if I said, you need to leave here now, you would say, who needs to leave here now? But you whisper it. Like, I'm not going to hear you because I have noise canceling headphones on anyways, but you'll just, you know, whisper it amongst yourself. You'll stand over there. I'll be like over here. And um, yeah, a lot of times things will come through and you'll be shocked. Like it will answer questions or if something happens, like let's say I heard and said out loud, I died here. You would maybe say, what's your name or who died here? And then a lot of times I might immediately say a name. And if it matches up with the name that they said, it's I incredible. Hear you talking to me? Yes. I'm just not going to hear you. You're going to hear me, but I'm not going to hear you. You understand? And then I'll hear something in those headsets? No, I'm only wearing the headphones. Oh, you're going to... The only thing you're going to hear is me say random stuff out loud. That's all you're going to hear. And then Based, I respond to your You respond stuff. however you want, right? Okay. You'll, you'll, it, it's real easy. You'll understand. And I'm not saying it works all the time, but it works an awful good amount of times. And sometimes we're just shocked with the results. So we'll see what happens. It's crazy because I ain't going to be able to hear a word. And, you know, you guys might freak out because I just said something crazy. But by the time I'm done, I'll have no idea what happened. I'm only going to, I'm not, none of it's going to make sense to me. So you guys will tell me what happened. You know what I mean? All right. How many people we got in here right now? We got 455. Yo, we lost like 100 people. Get the Yo, fuck out of here. We're in the basement. We're Are you the basement. kidding me? Oh, wait. Lou has the freaking microphone. Or you have the mic. I have a mic. Okay. Lou's probably could have been taking a Humpty Dumpty in. <laughs> All right. You said the outlet's over here somewhere? Ah. Okay. We're going to plug in his phone over here. Perfect. I'm not sure if I have that one. What one? Necrophonics? Yeah. I don't know. No. Well, that's not good. Sorry to make you guys wait. We're almost back up to 400 people, though, so that's good. Sorry for the wait, guys. We're going to be doing this here in a second. So what app do you have? Um, I forget what the other. I haven't used the app in so long, dude. Um, do you have a scare box? What's the what? What's the other? I don't know. I don't know. You, well, you either have a you have a spirit box app or you don't. Um, the spirit talker and this the spirit talker won't work for this. You don't have Necrophonics, do you? You want me to download it? Um, could you? Cause like I even pay for it, but he doesn't have it. And this is I'm, we're just killing time here, and I'm live, so. This is no blame. I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm going to walk around here for a minute while we're doing that. Can I see the mic? Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I think that was just a big... Uh, that was kind of just a fail right there. Uh, I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. This is why it's tough doing live streams um, with a bunch of people to plan things out properly. Negro but I comics. thought it would be cool. Yeah, NEC. What is it? NEC. Any, any what? Yeah, I'll, I'll find it for you. Here. What's that noise that's coming through there? Oh. Afraid, and they would just not show up the next day. This is the kind of stuff that happens. And obviously, there were, we weren't here. There Wait, was this is not that. App, this is not even the app store. You're on Siri. Oh. I mean, it's okay. We don't have to do it right now. Barking at old people going in and out in all different parts of the house. No kidding. See, the there it is right there. 
All right, can you turn that down a little bit? Thanks. Okay. So I think we're going to do this, guys. I have my headphones. Um, even if it's just me and Mimi, I don't know where Lou went to. But just so I can do it, it'd be fine. I'm going to read some of your comments while she's downloading Open. that. Oh, it's already done? Yeah. All right, cool. So go ahead and go to Bluetooth and connect to these headphones. Yeah, I'm trying to connect. Yeah, it's connected. Not on my phone. Yeah, it is. Well, well actually, hold on. You might have connect. Hang on. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I think I just really messed J-Lab up. JLab Studio Pro. Hang on. Yeah, I think I just messed up because I think it. Uh, I think it disconnected my mics. Let me. Let me turn my Bluetooth off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, can you guys hear me now on the mic? Let me know. I'm hitting the mic. Uh, let me know yes or no in the chat. Can you guys hear that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Wait. Wait, how did you hear that? It was, How did you hear that? That's not even on. Wait, that's weird. Okay, let me turn this one on. Hang on. Okay, this is mic number two. You should hear it hitting. This is mic number one. All right. All right, did this get, did we get connected, you know? Here's a microphone. A microphone. Hmm. Sorry for the technical difficulties, fam. Ready to appear. Oh, here we go. All right, we're good. All right, so do you want to sit there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll shut it off. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let them see what's going on. They can see what's going on on okay. my live. How? I don't know. Up here. I don't know. You want your phone? I have my phone. Well, how come I don't see you on the camera? I see up here. I don't know. Okay. Well. Okay. I got it working. I'm down. Lift your camera around. Why don't you just come oh, down and yeah. tape it? <sighs> okay. Um. Well, we gotta yeah see what he's doing first. Yeah, go on back upstairs, Rick. We're trying to do our thing. Oh my god. Oh, it did. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna put this back here because they'll hear us with the microphone. Perfect. Okay. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this um this start button. And I'm gonna immediately start hearing uh, stuff, and I'll say it out loud, and you can just react to it. Just you know, give me a chance to respond. You know what I mean? If you ask something, so I'm gonna sit here. Normally, I'd put a blindfold on, but I'm just going to close my eyes for right now. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. So I'm not gonna be able to hear anything. Whenever you think I should be done, if you think I should be done before I'm done, just tap me on the shoulder. Do you hear me? No, I won't hear you. No. So and what am I responding to? You can that? just whisper into the microphone also because they'll be able to hear you perfectly. They will hear me. Yes, they'll hear you and they'll hear me. Should I repeat what you're saying? No, they're going to hear me say whatever I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, you're just going to like respond. You'll see. It, it'll catch on pretty quick. 
All right, I'm going to start in three, two, one. Wish me luck, fam. Billy. Leave. Doom. Pretty. You are pretty. Breathe. Two. Like three leaves. Don't say that. That is awful. It just said suck my... That's horrible. I've never heard that. Then I heard mommy. This guy. Underneath the stairs. You'll have to find out. Ha 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 ha. Who's underneath the stairs? One at a time, please. Who's underneath the stairs? What's your name? I am. Say your name. Correct. What's your name? You know. No, I don't know. Yes. No, I don't. Right. Say your name. Push. Oh, yeah. We know you were pushed. Who pushed you? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Who pushed you? Us. How many? A lot of them. Who did you push? Mom. Who did you push? Four. Stay away. Say your name. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Ooh. Don't be a coward. Say your name. A lot of them. Yeah, we know that. Let's get to the Ooh. point. Waylo? It was in a different language. Waylo and then yes. Yes. Yeah. Who pushed Shirley down the stairs? Bob. Bob. Move. Say a familiar name. Tripped. Ooh. I just heard like a scream, like a woman's scream. And then I heard Betty. Was Shirley pushed was Shirley pushed down the stairs? Who pushed Shirley Dumb. down the stairs? Karma. Karma. Shirley. Did that, did Bad. you just say Shirley? And I know. Shirley, were you pushed? Eighteen. 
here. I'm here. Who? Me. Who's me? I fell. Who pushed you? Did you fall? And died. Shirley. Sweetheart. What? Talk to us. I am. No. Oh. How are you? I'm good, sweetheart. How are you? Did a man push you down the stairs? Shirley, did a man it's push yes. you down the stairs? A few months, something, and then warning. Shirley, did a man push you down the stairs? Yeah. Did a young girl push you down the stairs? Kim. It wasn't me. Was it an accident? Denise. Get the fuck. How many spirits are in the basement? Three. Flash. Are they with us now? Run. I would today. Leave. How old are the spirits? It's important. Are they men? Give us a name. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. Can you give us some names? A lot. How many? Number. Time to go. Shirley. He's here. He's here. Who's here? Who's here? Leave now. He's coming. Who? Who's coming? Who? Oh, just some really weird. It said evil something. Yeah. Who? 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 Say a name. Say a name. Say a name. In the attic. In the attic? Ooh. What's his name? What's his name? Say his name. Me. Say his name. No. Why? Scary. Nothing scares me. Four. Say his name. You'll see. Okay. Kill. Was anybody kill ki me? Was anybody killed He's in got something? Was anybody killed in this basement? Hello. Who was killed in this basement? You know. No, I don't. Shirley? Was anybody else killed in this basement? Could be. 
today. Was Four any heads? Was anybody killed in the well? Yeah. Do your laundry. Money. What he said. Ooh. I heard that. Who was killed in the basement? Like. Who was killed in the well? It hurt. Who hurt you? Help me. Is that you, Shirley? No. Say your name. Let's go see something, okay? Do you want to go in the attic? Yes. Okay, let's go. No. Why not? God. Mm. Who's throwing out this? Go now. In the attic? Where we something? Do you want us to go in the attic? What? Do you want us to go in the attic? Do you want us to go in the attic? Amora? We're waiting. And where are you waiting? Whoa. What was that? Oh. I must have pressed the button on here because it started repeating. I think he's coming. What? Me. Pinterest. Oh, it said fam. Run. Where? Where? Yeah. Run again. That's enough. All right. Do you want us to leave? I do. Okay, let's go. Go now. Think. Bam again. Do you want us to go? Yo. Yes. No. He's back. All right, well, I'm going to go. Do you want us to go in the attic? Roll. Yeah. All right, let's go in the attic. Bed? Go. Shirley's bed? Here. We're going to Shirley's bed? The attic? Benham. Do it. All right, let's go. Roll. Do you want to share a name with us? Give us None. a name. Give us a name. Marco. Marco? Who's Marco? Done. Are you done? Bullshit. You. 20. Are you done? Vivian. I don't know Vivian. Oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Whew, that takes a lot out of you. I know I have a headache. Did did um did um uh, did a lot of stuff make sense? Yes. Did it in? I can't I love watching these back later because I have no idea. Well, actually, some of it made sense. A lot of it made sense. Yeah, all, not all of it's going to make sense, obviously, but look at my weight. Uh, I have a headache. Oh, my gosh, guys. That was crazy. I had a fucking headache. Oh, here, you can hand me the... Here, honey. Back. Thank you, thank you. All right.
pretty crazy down here, I would say. I have a headache. Yeah, I, I feel very drained right now. I'm drained. Wow, that was crazy. Was it good? Oh, my God. Dude, it does drain you. I'm telling you, it drains you a lot. It drained her. I swear, it seems like it drained her more than me. All right, I'm going to leave from down here unless there's anything else you have to say or make any noise. Nobody will believe me tonight when I was looking up at this guy. Oh, I wonder what happened, Jack. That was awesome, James. Oh, thanks, KJ. I appreciate it. Yo, I really appreciate all you guys hanging out with me tonight, being here. You know, I wanted to do something a little special for you guys tonight. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do a live stream tomorrow and drop that video, or at least drop that video, because it's pretty crazy, the tunnel we went to and what happened. I don't want to spoil it. It's not a really long video, so that's why I figured it'd be cool to drop as like a bonus. Oh, man. I'm telling you, that's a lot out of me. Oh. Okay. Um, thanks, Melmo. What's up, Shantae? Hey, Christy. Ow! Ah, that was my freaking head great. Ow. See, I was laughing at Lou. It's way cooler in here. I was laughing at Lou for doing that, and then there I go and do it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh man. Oh, I'm drained. That was crazy, fam. Oh, man. I can't believe how drained I get from that sometimes. Let's see where uh, there's anybody upstairs. Let me plug all my stuff back in. Hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's live stream so far. You know, I think we might have caught a couple of things. What was that noise? We might have caught some stuff on camera, but I'm going to be here all night. And I'm going to be recording myself sleeping. So I'm really curious if we get you any, catch anything. Whew, man. It hasn't seemed extremely haunted, but you just never know. Plus, there's a lot of people here. And I swear, like, I feel like spirits are afraid or less active when you have, like, a ton of people around versus, like, you know, one or two people. Although it was fairly quiet while we were down in the basement. But hey, <laughs> I went down there all alone. I stayed locked in there for a long time. So I did a Yasko. Matter of fact, I got some crazy news to tell you guys. If you stayed this late, ah, if you stayed this late, I have some cool news to tell you. If you're on my Twitter, you probably already know. What the hell? How the heck do I make this work? Yes, I don't. I wanted to set this up. I don't know. I'll just hold it. <laughs> oh, so I got some cool news. So thanks to my boy Omar Gosh TV for hooking this up. The number one thing I have on my paranormal bucket list, I'm going to be able to do next week. Now. If you're part of my Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter and you know, do not answer. Don't spoil it. If you don't know, I want you to comment what's your best guess. It's number one place on my bucket list. I want to know if any of you guys get it right. Barely anyone's been able to film there. I think there's been a couple YouTubers that have filmed there, but so hard to get in there. So hard to get in there. Comment below. I'm going to read your comments. Where do you guys think it is? No cheating. If you know, don't cheat. Because nobody should get this right away. Thank you, James. You rock, yo. You rock too, Philly. Thank you so much. What's up? Wilbur says, hi, fam. What's up? Christine says, James, great job. I appreciate you being here tonight. That's awesome. Charles said, a friend of mine showed me a photo of him in a tunnel. Oh, and you caught a shadow figure? That's scary. I don't like shadow figures. Love Omar Gosh TV. Yeah, that's my boy right there. Oh, yes. Can't wait. I know. I left Twitter. Oh, no. The Hill House. No. Waverly. Nope. I've been there. It's so, so cool. It's an OG place. We'll put it that way. 
Um, I don't think if you're going to get it. I guess maybe you would. I need to add you on Twitter. Yes, you do, Jessica. It's at James the Fam. Also, I got two super chats and I missed it. Thank you so much to whoever that was. Um, yeah, I don't see it on here. I don't think. Oh, KJ Paranormal. Thank you so much. Love you, fam. And also, uh, Columbus Turin. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Appreciate that. I don't think we've even went into this room over here yet. Queen Mary. I love the Queen Mary. Conjuring House. You're really close. You're really close. Lizzie Borden House. I've been there. You're super, super close with that, Nicole, but it's not the country house. The prison? Nope, I've been to a lot of prisons before. You guys are going to love this. You're going to be so excited. Yes, Rosie, you're, you're, you're there. I am going to be going to Ed and Lorraine Warren's Occult Museum, which, if you don't know, that's where Annabelle, the haunted doll, the real Annabelle, the original real Annabelle, uh, has been kept for all these years. Not to mention, they have hundreds of items. It used to be in a cold museum. It was a paranormal. I mean, you guys know Ed and Lorraine Warren. They're OGs. And they, after they passed away, their son took over it. There's huge, there's no trespassing signs everywhere. I filmed out front of there before and caught the craziest stuff ever on camera right out front of there. And also, we've gone to their cemetery, which is close by. But we're going to get to go inside. We're going to be meeting and interviewing with the son and also the person that runs it right now. Um, how freaking cool is that? We're going to get to go in and interview them for a few hours. Isn't that dope? Oh, cool, James. Yeah, Charmaine. Oh, my gosh, you're going to go there. It's epic. Yes, KJ. That's been so many people's dream to do that. Um, I don't know if Annabelle is there. Annabelle might be there. If Annabelle is there, it's over. Forget about it. It's over. I will, I will, I will leave a bacon strip in my pants. But even if Annabelle is not there, it's still really freaking cool. Oh, I did show you this other room. Gasco had a lot of stuff happening to him in here when he was sleeping. I'm going to sleep in this room over here which was Sherry's room. And what's cool is I'll be able to film myself sleeping tonight. I'm gonna plug my camera, my, my phone in. Oh, why is the light off? I'm gonna plug my, my uh, phone into the wall so it doesn't die. And I'm gonna record myself sleeping tonight right there. <laughs> you know what I'll do? Dude, I'm gonna have the doll sleeping right next to me. That, I don't know what's up with that thing. That doesn't do nothing. Um, but I'm gonna have that doll sleeping next to me. What if like that doll moves or something? How freaky would that be? I mean, just think the guy that was staying here, the nurse, you know, I guess the door opened and he thought he saw somebody and uh, probably heard footsteps, thought it was uh, a person coming in. And little did uh, he know that it was probably a spirit. But that's kind of messed up that, you know, he reported that an Airbnb without even doing any investigation or anything, just took the uh, and delisted this as an Airbnb. So it's crazy. When I filmed here a week or two ago, it was an Airbnb. And as of right now, it's not. So, but I will say this, if you're watching this live stream later on after it's done being live, in the description, I'll put Mimi's information. So if you want to come to upstate New York and, or you live in upstate New York and you want to come film here or spend the night, um, I'm sure you could work something out with her and uh, that would be cool. And you could let me know if you guys catch anything so far, pretty quiet, but it's still early. And like I said, there's a lot of people, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. thought this would be a cool thing for you guys on a Saturday night. And you guys know me, I always like to, uh, you know, put out whatever I can for you guys, especially since I just started coming back and everything, but exciting day tomorrow, guys, don't forget. My boy Omar is dropping episode number one of his new series. I've watched it, okay? I've watched episode one and I've watched episode two because I'm in episode one. So there's eight YouTubers in the first episode and eight YouTubers in the second episode. And then it breaks it down after that. But 
I'll be in the second episode. What happened to us, especially before we even got there, was absolutely insane. I, I've watched both episodes one and two. They're both bangers. I personally think number two is a little better. Maybe I'm a little biased, <laughs> but um, it, it's insane. So make sure you check that out tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. It's going to be premiering. You don't want to miss it. Nothing like this has ever been done on YouTube. My boy works so hard, and he deserves millions upon millions of views for sure. But uh, I, like I said, tomorrow, I'm going to try to get some editing done and put out that bonus video tomorrow. Worst case scenario is if I don't, I will have a new video for you on Monday. And listen. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a month up until yesterday, but I have a ton of stuff filmed now. I'm very motivated. The last two videos I put up, they did so bad and honestly just unmotivated me to spend all the time to edit, especially with all the work that has that went into this last video. I literally edited it for two weeks, um, but it did really well. And that really like shows me that you guys care and, um, you know, you still like me. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody likes me anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. But I love you guys, man. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. All right. Love you, fam. Peace. Love you. You the best. Good night, Davros. Good night, Halloween. Good night, Philip. Thanks for being here. Belinda, Susan, say give me a kiss. Kate O'Connor, much love. Vicky. Hey, make sure you have notifications turned on as well. So that means if you press the little uh, bell. Make sure it's on all so you get notified when I do go live. Good night, Melmo. Thanks for being here. Fill up much love. Mary Johnson, love you. Linda, good night. Big Poppy, Wendy, Susan, Lori, Rosie Groove, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Esperanza, always good to see you, homie. Uh, Unseek, good night. Brian, Chantel, much love to you guys. Christ. Uh, Canadian, every day we did Treasures, Christina, Belinda. Oh, I can't wait to see that episode. I'm telling you, you're going to freaking love it. It's so good, and you've never seen anything like this on YouTube before. It's not like the normal kind of videos that you guys have come accustomed to. It is completely different, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm wondering if anybody would guess what YouTubers didn't even make the night. Some YouTubers, even more than one, had to tap out. It's insane. Rosie, good night, Brian. All right, love you, fam. Peace.